All right, in this video, we want to show you how to repair or basically replace a webcam on any laptop. And this will work with HP, Dell, um, Lenovo, Samsung, pretty much any laptop that you have, it shall work with, should work with. Um, this particular model is a Samsung laptop and it does have a broken screen in it but it also has a broken webcam so I'll, I'll show you how to do it it's very easy it's something that you can literally do in 15 minutes um, you will have to purchase a new webcam but you can get a webcam for like five bucks online and I can show you exactly where to get it at um, replacing it might seem the hardest thing to do but believe it or not it's extremely easy um, if you had just uh, installed like Windows 7 or 8 or 10 on your computer um, especially if it's like if you just reinstalled Windows 10 after the uh, recommendation from Microsoft then this will not fix your problem you'll have to go and make sure you update the drivers and I'll go ahead and show you right now what to do um, pretty much if the webcam is being detected under device manager um, then your your webcam is not broken it just needs to be the driver needs to be updated or installed so I'll go ahead and show you that right now uh, which is a free website it'll automatically test your webcam to see if it's showing an image or not you know it might be just something with a program with Facebook or Skype or something like that so we want to make sure. As you can see on here, uh, we need to install Adobe. So you want to go ahead and install Adobe if that error does show up, and then restart your computer. Um, so we're first going to do that, and then from there, you might get an error um, that states no webcam found, which I'll show you here in a second. If you if it says no webcam found, then that might be an indication that your webcam is broken. Um, normally that's what it is. So I'm using two different browsers. The first one I used was Mozilla Firefox. A lot of times Google Chrome will not work. Um, so try Internet Explorer if you do have Internet Explorer installed. Sometimes those will have the drivers that you need. And so there's the error. So, next thing you want to do is go into your device manager to see if there's an actual driver and if that driver for your webcam is installed. Um, to do that, you just go to the search menu on the, the bottom when you go in the start menu, type in uh, device manager, and then it's going to show you um, a, a, a little row that shows all the drivers for audio, video, all that stuff. What you want to do is look for your webcam driver, and with a webcam driver, um, look and see if it is activated um, or if it's just not installed. If that's the case, if you're online, you could right click it and then click on update my computer and then from there it might just update it and install it. This might happen if you recently installed Windows 10 over 8 or 7 which is a free upgrade and that a lot of people are reporting that their webcams being um, uninstalled if that's the case, your webcam is definitely not broken. You just need to make sure you install the right driver. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, go to uh, your manufacturer's direct website. Let's say if you installed uh, Windows 10, you did an upgrade from Windows 8 or Windows 7, and all of a sudden now you realize that your Windows, um, or rather your webcam's not working. You could just direct go directly to the website. Now I'm going to go to HP's website let's say to install a sleek book uh, webcam driver but again this will work with Lenovo, Sony, Dell um, all the manufacturers, Alienware, uh, Toshiba so let's go ahead and let's say we'll go and we'll type in HP sleek book 14 driver and it's going to usually be the first one that comes up and sure enough this is HP's website um, it makes sure that you're going to their direct website, whether that be Dell or Lenovo. And that one. You can't just browse through the products, you know, you just go to their site and go to drivers. 
So for this one, let's say I installed Windows 8 from Windows 7. What I'm going to do is choose drivers, software and drivers. And from there, I will put that in there. And we'll do Windows 10 because that was the new install that I just did. We'll go update. And we will look for webcam. That's the keyboard mouse input. There we go. Cyberlink UCAM software. That's it. That's the that's the webcam. So what I'll do is I'll just click download here. Usually takes about five minutes. Install it, restart it, and that should that should do it. All right. I hope that helps. Let's go and go to repairing the actual webcam itself and replacing it if that is the issue. Okay, uh, we're back. Let's see. So, as you saw there, um, it might just be an issue with you needing to, to um, use a different browser or, or install the driver. Um, if, if it's not detected, if the driver is not detected in the uh, device manager, then most likely you got a broken um, webcam. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is remove the screen bezel. And this plastic piece that goes all the way around your screen is called a bezel, screen bezel. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go from the left corner and we're going to see if we find any little rubber, um, I call them little end caps. And what you're going to do, the only two tools that you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver and a uh, something like a little steak knife or a butter knife. I got right here a flathead screwdriver, small flathead. Um, those are the only tools that you're going to need. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with, uh, with the upper left corner and you're going to go around. If you see an end cap, what you're going to do is go ahead and take that end cap off. It's going to usually be held in there by some adhesive or glue. And you're going to pry that open and it's going to expose a uh, screw, usually. Um, and what you're going to do is when you see the screw, you're just going to take your, your Phillips and you're going to unscrew it. Fortunately, with this one, it looks like it has zero screws. Um, so the only thing you're going to do is actually just pop the bezel off. But the majority of them will have screws. So what you're going to do is you're going to go around and you're going to take all the screws out. You're going to take the end caps off and take the screws out. The most, most that they'll have would be probably four on each corner. Sometimes they'll have it like mid top of the, uh, the bezel, like right here and here usually not though and in this particular incidence it has zero screws so the only thing you do is go to the very top as you can see here and you're going to take your flathead or your steak knife and you're going to make way to, uh, to pry this open Let me corner here and what you're going to do once you get a little bit of room here in order this one already had a crack in the bezel but not for yours to make sure you don't crack it you're just going to go slowly down the line See there, usually just pops off.
so I'm, you see here I'm using my hands and slowly go down and usually what you're going to do is you're going to have two hinges and a lot of times you'll have to pop those off when you get to it sometimes the hinges are part of the bezel sometimes they're not but the good thing about a webcam is is you expose it pretty without even really having to take the bezel completely off but Now again, this bezel was already cracked before I opened it, so so as you see here, you're exposing the webcam. And the only thing that's really holding the webcam in there is usually just a screw or just the ribbon. And it's usually just set in there. Okay, so you, as you can see there, it exposes the webcam. And the webcam is usually only going to be attached by a ribbon and a couple little plastic uh, things that are just holding it in there. Sometimes you'll have a screw there but it'll be easily detected. And really the only thing you want to do is just take this ribbon off and then take your webcam off. And it usually just pulls right out. See there? pops out like that. Now, let's go ahead and just take the webcam off. And sure enough, it's just held there by a little plastic cap there. And it usually just pulls right off. Just a little bit of a little bit of adhesive there. And that's it. And so the only thing you're going to do now is you're going to um, read the model number on it. And it should be on the back somewhere. As you can see, it'll have the model number. And so this particular one for the Samsung is model SC-10 H. Zero, zero. And so what I want to do is, is I want to plug that into eBay. And I want to go buy it now, lowest first. And so I should be able to pick up a webcam on eBay for like five bucks. And then pretty much the only thing you do is just reverse it. You know, whatever you just did when you get your new webcam in, you just pretty much just uh, redo everything. You'll insert it back into here and pop it back in. And, um, the driver should automatically pick it up because you already have the driver installed from your old webcam so it should automatically read it and just go to where I suggested it uh, you know to test my webcam out um, at the web web page that I told you and it should work just fine alright if you have any questions just let me know thanks for watching alright so I'm on eBay now ebay.com and I just got the model number and as of right now I am going to plug it into the search and already have it pre-copied so that's the model number right there for the webcam for this particular Samsung uh, webcam um, and I'm gonna go to buy it now lowest first 
as you can see here the majority of them are going to be under five bucks I would recommend if you live you know whatever country you live in just go ahead and get it in that country you know if you live in the US and you order it from China um, it could take a month and I'm sure you're not going to want to do that just to save a buck um, and you could actually put the search to where it would be closest to your zip code and that way you would get it even quicker you know the cheapest one I found with this one is only like three bucks so I just went ahead and just ordered it but um, yeah what you want to do is plug in your plug plug in the model number that you found on the back of the webcam and you're just going to basically reverse what you just did um, of taking it apart and then just put it back together and the driver should automatically read because the driver should be installed from the last from the last uh, you know from the original install of the of the webcam from factory so um, if you have any questions let me know if you do have a problem with the model number you could technically just type in the model of your laptop you know, let's say if you have an E7400 Dell, you could type in the search E7400 Dell uh, webcam. Alright, thank you for watching.